Well, to many people, there's nothing that says summer like firing up the old grill and preparing a mouth-watering meal. Let's join Denny at the grill in the backyard. Well, thanks, Paul. As you know, every year we try to do something on the grill to give you guys something new to cook. Joining me today, of course, is, is Brooke, and she's, going, she's with the Georgia Beef Board. What are we going to be cooking today now? We are cooking South, Southwest Steaks with Sunset Summer Salad. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but <laughs> it's delicious. Try saying that. Okay, one more time. Southwest Steaks with Sunset Summer Salad. Okay, okay. <laughs> First, well, let's talk about what kind of steak we're going to put on, and I'll get this on the this old grill. This is an eye round steak. It's one of the 29 lean cuts, and it actually has less fat than any other 29 lean cuts. Really? It does. Um, we have the nutrients right here, and this, this whole menu has less than 10 grams of fat. And everything we're using goes on the grill. Okay, so all well. of your ingredients, we've got some corn here, an orange bell pepper. The only thing that doesn't go on the grill is the tomato that's in the Sunset Summer Salad right oh, over yeah. here. Nothing worse than, than cooked tomatoes to yeah, me. Yeah, you agree. don't really want to grill the tomato. You want it Ooh. to stay firm. <laughs> Be careful with that corn okay. now. And what is this? This is an orange bell pepper. All right. And I've actually marinated the corn and the bell pepper in a little bit of um, olive oil, cumin, lime juice, and a little bit of chili powder. And the steak is marinated in all those same ingredients and one other really special spicy ingredient, chipotle and adobo sauce. Whoa. That's going to give you a little, a little kick. bit of a bite, yeah. That's going to give yeah. you a little bit of that kick. But it's, it's very tasty, and you can cut out some of the um, chipotle and adobo sauce if you don't like heat. I love heat, so I actually put an extra one in there. <laughs> How long would you say it takes start to finish to prepare this meal? It's going to take you less than 30 minutes okay. to prepare it. Um, now, I would, I would uh, say, you know, you want to marinate that steak for at least six hours, but you can just throw the marinade together, put the steak in the little Ziploc bag, put it in the fridge, and you're good to go until the next day. And healthy, you said. It's very healthy. The entire menu has less than 10 grams of fat. So Le less than 10 grams of fat. Okay. The recipe and nutritional information is on beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Yeah, and well, of course, we'll have that uh, on our website, and you'll have it on your website Certainly. as well. Okay, listen, I, the big question I always have is, is the, the, the different types of spices that you put on it. Now, you, you just told us a few that are on there, mm -hmm. but you obviously can do it to your own taste, the things that you like. Absolutely. You don't have to follow the recipe. You can really be your own chef when you're in your own kitchen. I love Southwest flavors, so I love chili powder, cumin, and I do have a little bit of steak rub, and you can use any you know mix of herbs. But yeah, if you don't like the taste of cumin, that smokiness, leave it out. Kay. It's no big deal. Whatever you like is what you should put on this in this menu. I'm, I'm going to turn everything over, so continue. You go for so it. continue. <laughs> And I do want to show you, this is what the summer salad actually looks like when, um, when, when it's done. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm just mesmerized by your grilling technique. You, you thought I was just a pretty face, didn't you? Uh, no, I know you're oh, more than that. Whoa, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you got the pretty face and skills to go with this. I just burned myself. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm going to be fine. Now, we do. I do want to talk a little bit about grilling safety, and he may not be our safety guru, but I do want to tell you a little bit about it. Make sure you start with the hot grill, and when you're using tongs like this, never pierce your meat with no, a fork. Never. You lose all that juiciness. Always flip your steak with tongs or a spatula, like one of those metal grilling spatulas, but don't pierce it, because it's going to come okay. out dry if you do. All right, let's see the finished product, we just so everybody have... has that. Through the mallet magic oh, of television, ooh, we have the finished ooh, product. And ooh. you really, for it to be pretty and pretty ooh. plating, you want to put the summer salad on the bottom of the plate, slice that steak. Well, let me tell you this first. When it comes off of the grill, yeah. let it rest for a few minutes. So all those hot juices right. kind of redistribute. Right. And then you want to slice that steak on an angle yeah. and layer it right over that sunset summer salad. Okay, summer set, summer <laughs> sunset salad. Sunset <laughs> summer salad. It's a mouthful, but it is delicious. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Brooke. Thank Georgia you for B. having Ford. me. We appreciate you every year when you come. Try the recipe. It will be on our website. We'll invite you to check it out. Paul, I'm going to taste this, and if you're lucky, I might bring you a little to eat, too. <laughs>